What's up my awesome YouTuber CLR back at you again. Today uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my stencils. I know somebody commented and uh, wanted to know how I made my stencils. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I make my stencils. So let's go and do this. Alright, today I got this stencil already made. I started on it. This is the second stencil, but I thought about you guys and was like, hey, this is the perfect time to go ahead and make this stencil and show you guys how to do it. So here we go. This is the second stencil. I'm done with it already, but um, I'm going to remove this one. All I do is grab some tape, you guys, right here. I tape like three corners. Alright, but here's the stencil right here. I don't know if you guys can see that good. All right, but here's the painting I'm gonna do for a guy that wants this done. But well, this is what I do, guys. I just pull up my, uh, all I do is pull up my picture I want. I have him send it to my email. I pull it up on my email right here, and then I just get it to the size that I want it. And then after I do that, I just uh, make sure I line my picture up on the same spot every time when you lay the next stencil down. I'll show you guys how I do that right now. I'm gonna grab this paper, all right? And then what I do is I tuck it right, right into the edge of the TV so that way it's straight on the bottom. On almost every TV I've done this on, it, it, it works for me every time. All right, and once you get it tucked down in there, make sure it's straight and every edge is tucked in on the bottom. All right, there we go. And then what I do is, oh, just untucked you guys. But what I do is, is, after I get it tucked in the bottom, I line it right here. If you guys can see the color of this edge right here, I just line my paper straight with the edge of that. Just like that. Make sure it's tucked in the bottom. And then grab your little pieces of tape, you know, just to tape it down so it stays real lightly. All right. Now this is going to be the third stencil guys and then now that I got taped down I just go and I start tracing over all the colors. So I got the orange building, I got this little building here, the windows. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is this little uh, chimney stack thing coming off of the building right here. But I just trace that out basically, you know what I'm saying, very simple. Ooh, there's the chimney stack in the part of the video or in the part of the painting my bad guys um let's see what's gonna be next I think we're gonna go ahead and do the stacks now all right let's trace around these stacks Villains. So that way we know they get covered up in the next stencil when it overlays. Make sure it goes into the picture just a little bit. I'm gonna do the third stack now. Now I did buy one of those little um, Cricut machines. I'm still learning how to use that, but this is how I first started doing spray paint art stenciling. This is the way I did it, and it worked for me. You guys can check out my Dragon Ball Z one. That one was took me a couple hours to stencil that one out but um yeah this is how I do it basically this is the easiest way I found out how to do it to start when I first started spray painting but um yeah like I said I got that Cricut machine I've made a couple of my paintings with that Cricut machine but it's the small ones um these if I this is the way I do it when I need a larger painting or a larger picture I need to paint this is the way that I do it there might be other ways out there, there might be better ways, but this is how I found out how to do it, and this is the way I do it. If you guys like this, keep following me, and I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm also going to have a video of me painting this, so if you guys check that one out too when it's out. Alright, we're going to continue here. Alright, we got our two stacks. Let me see what else I can put on this one. I think that's about it right now. Yep. And then now this is the third stencil. So I'm gonna write number three up here at the top. I know this is gonna be more, I, I like I like to write like by the painting what is what, you know what I'm saying? Like on this side, I know it fades to a darker, so I'll put 
I'll put like black on this side, you know what I'm saying? And the building's orange, so it's gonna go orange over here. And then I'll put fade right in the middle of those two so I know it's gonna fade from black to orange. Um, same with the stacks here. Uh, it's gonna be darker in the shadow from the light's gonna be darker hitting on each side. So what I'll do is I'll put right here on this side, I know it's gonna be faded black on this side. So same thing, I'll put fade. And then I'll put little arrows like pointing to which way the fade is gonna go. Right. And this one, same thing on this side. It's got a fade on this, on this one too, guys. So we're gonna write fade. With some little arrows pointing which way the fade goes. And then this side, I know it's a little darker on the back side of this one, so we're gonna put fade on this side. And then we're gonna put some arrows going the opposite way. All right. So I think that's all we can do on this stencil. And then what I'm also doing, what I mean by this stencil, what we can do on it, you gotta imagine what's in the background. You gotta start with that first, and then you gotta watch and look what overlaps everything. So I started with the building here because it's the one in the background. There's another little building here that pops in front, so that's part of the second stencil. I can also fit the, the windows I got into the second stencil. Now the third stencil, the stacks are there and there's another set of buildings but they're in front of these stacks here. So you gotta draw the, the stacks first before the buildings or else they won't come out. So that's what I mean by that. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and take this down and I'll be right back with you and we're gonna get the other stencil going. That's gonna be number four. All right, see you guys in a second. All right guys, here we are. We're back with this other stencil getting ready to tape it down but same thing again make sure you get your uh, picture on the TV and line it up with the straight line of that color edge and go ahead and just tape it down <coughs> go ahead and tape this side down and the bottom to just some more security so don't move around on us all right now there's a little little building right here in front of this other building so now this is going to be part of number four we're gonna go ahead and draw this little building in here. And now we are on to these little buildings here. All right. So the front part of this building right here, we're gonna just draw this out because this is gonna be a lighter part of the building. That's gonna be the part of the light tan. Make this come up here, there. gonna be part of the uh, number four stencil. <clears throat> oh, you know what? This is actually pretty light right here too. So we're gonna go ahead and have this little strip in here. That looks like all the white spots. Okay, got that, got that. Let's double check everything. And then after we got this part of number four, we're gonna go ahead and work on these back parts of the buildings. They're a little bit darker. So, let's go ahead and take this stencil down. I think we're good here. I'm gonna go ahead and write up here. This is like light tan color. I like to write, you know, what color it is. So I gotta look back at the pictures. I can just be like, oh, this is light tan. Grab the light tan, you know what I'm saying? We speed it up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this one down now and move on to the next stencil. This is stencil number four right here, guys. If you guys can see this, I'll show you guys this too. Just a little front part of the building. All right. We're gonna move on to the next stencil, which will be number five. Same thing, guys. I'm gonna uh, 
set it in the bottom of the TV, line it up. I'll be right back with you when it's lined up. All right, guys, here we go with uh, stencil number five. <clears throat> um, now we're gonna do like the shadow of the buildings. So all I'm gonna do is just trace around the shadows. So here's one shadow of the building. camera off for you guys. I want you guys to see what I mean by the shadows. I don't know if you guys can see it from way back there. But um, what I mean by the shadows are, all right, I got this little, the part of the front building, it's lighter tan. So I went and did all this, the light tan, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the shadows, which I'm gonna fade black. So here's the shadow of the building, shadow, shadow, shadow. You see all the shadows. And then the next layer stencil, I'm gonna come back and do the real dark shadows, like the ones here in the center that you see. Right here, right here, this one. You know, they start getting smaller as they go back and then all these black shadows are gonna be the last stencil. But, all right, let me set the camera back up and uh, we'll get back to doing this stencil, guys. All right, here we go, let's finish doing these shadows now. Take this one down and get ready for number six. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go and make this. This is where it's gonna be the little darker spots. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. One thing you gotta do too, if you do do it on your Xbox, make sure you set your controller off to the side somewhere because I don't know how many times I've done it. Bump the controller and it moves the picture and it's so hard. It could be done, but it is so hard to get the picture back in the same spot that it was. Um, so yeah, try to keep that controller away or you know, turn it off or whatever you gotta do. Just a heads up. All right, let's continue this guys. stencil but this is how I make my stencils and then uh, we're also going to go and paint this painting it's going to be one of the videos up make sure you guys check it out so you can see how this stencil came out with that being said guys thank you make sure you subscribe to this channel really means a lot to grow this channel and let's keep this up man keep subscribing keep uh, commenting keep sharing keep this going and I'm going to keep it going here we go